All right, uh, this is the last in a series of videos where we're gonna be doing line following using computer vision on a turtle bot. And so we're picking up right where we left off. We have the image that's being processed to detect the line. And in this video, we're going to be uh, actually controlling the robot to follow that line. And so in order to do that, we need to import uh, the message type that we're going to be sending to the robot to control where it goes, and that's called a twist message. And we're going to go ahead and set a linear and angular velocity. We're going to have to make another publisher that publishes to the command val topic. And um, that's what the TurtleBot listens to uh, when it gives motor commands. And now we can make a new command. Um, basically, we want the robot to only drive forward and turn. So uh, driving forward corresponds to the X dimension. And turning is going to be around the Z. And that's according to the right hand rule. So we can make a new command and set everything else to be zero. And so now to do the line following, we want to use the center of the line that we calculated in the previous video. And we're going to use that um, air value to basically give a turn command to keep the robot centered on the line. And so we want to put in some logic here that says um, to always keep the center in the center of the frame. Okay, so here we have the air value. Uh, this says how many pixels away from the center of the image is the line. And then we normalize that so that it's between zero and one. And uh, here we're just telling the robot to constantly drive forward at the linear velocity. And then our angular velocity is gonna be some constant times the amount of air that we have in, uh, from frame to frame. And so I found that a good value for the constant is going to be uh, the angular velocity divided by three. Now we also need to add in some uh, logic that says, if we don't see the line, we want to turn around uh, and basically go back the other direction. And lastly, we're just going to publish the motor command that we're setting in the previous lines of code. And that's it. We can go ahead and test it out. Um, your parameters here may be different depending on what robot you have. So you may need to mess around with that a little bit. Same thing with the RGB values. Um, but we can go ahead and try it out and see how closely it follows the line. All right, uh, so that worked out pretty well. Um, I ended up having to change a couple of values uh, just because I'm using a different webcam than usual. So um, I'll go ahead and show you those. 
Uh, I changed the angular velocity. Um, it was turning around too quick. So uh, the image was getting too blurry. Just slowed that down a bit. Uh, changed some of the RGB values and uh, lowered the FPS just to give the computer a little bit more time to process things. Um, so you can try out these values. Um, usually it just takes a little bit of tweaking, but um, yeah, this has been uh, vision-based line following on a turtle bot. And so all of the code will be posted down below, um, as well as some extra links to uh, some resources that I use for this. So uh, thanks so much. Have a good one.